in terms of actual practical effect, the Egyptian Supreme Court has ruled repeatedly that it's not self-executing, and it has, it, it, unless the legislature explains what they mean by that, because in, in a very well thought opinion, they said we don't we don't know what they mean by Sharia. I mean, uh, Sharia is in, is 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 in the ether. It's in text. It's in your conscience. It's in your mind. It's everywhere. It's nowhere. So unless the Egyptian legislation legislature tells us what Sharia is, we can't enforce it. But interestingly, in Egypt, some of the strongest proponents of keeping this clause but amending it to say that the, one of the, the source of legislation for, for Muslims in Egypt is Sharia and for cops in Egypt is Sharia al-Masih, the, 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 the Sharia of Christ, is the Coptic Church. And you know, the argument there is that the traditions of Egypt, it would work. There are those who say, no, this is inconsistent with the national nation state and, and that we can't allow Muslims to have one law and Christians to have another law and that that's a return to, uh, that's reactionary and so on. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm undecided. I mean, I, I, I see the Z, I worry about who is going to claim the law of the Muslims for all Muslims, since there are many different types of Muslims, and who's going to claim the law of the Christians for all Christians, because I know that the Coptic Church has problems with the Anglican Church, and with the Jehovah's Witnesses, and with the later day saints, and with, you know, and that they consistently complain of persecution by the Coptic Church, and, and they are opposed by, opposed to the, that any type, that type of concession to Sharia of either Christ or Sharia of Islam in, in the Constitution. Um, I, it, I mean, each country must be able to develop its norms that seem, that, that, that it, its people can, uh, um, can comprehend and react to. And it, the, the, as long as the West is not, as long as the, uh, the United States, for instance, is not um, uh, creating various religious courts, for uh, evangelical Christians, and then for you know Hasidic Jews, and for this kind, and so on, uh, uh, then an exception for one group doesn't seem to be justified. Either everyone has an exception, or no one has an exception. I don't know. My mind can be changed. I mean, I, as as you can tell, I'm you know, I could be persuaded otherwise. You can have a conversation with me and I change my mind tomorrow. <laughs> well, I think that we probably should include because we've importuned your time a great deal already. But please join me in thanking Professor Thank you. for this question.